Growing up in the South is weird. Like mainly because of all the bigots. They have songs they sing about their bigotry. You can take the boy out of old Dixie land, but you'll never take old Dixie out the boy. You can take the boy to New York, but he's still probably gonna say racist shit. <laughs> Dixie just means racism. People are like really proud of being from the South, right? Like, I'm from the South. Ooh, Southern pride. History you of the South. You might want to follow it with a disclaimer. I love the South, because I love my great-great-grandma's cornbread whiskey biscuit recipe. <laughs> oh, you thought I was going to say there's a white supremacy in the incense. <laughs> no, just biscuits. <laughs> the weirdest uh, ones have this flag, this Confederate flag they fly around. And they drive around and they're like, woo! Confederacy! Which I feel like is weird without the racism. It'd be like if I got like a Windows 95 flag. <laughs> <laughs> Windows 95! Never got in there with my sleeper. Who wants to come over and play it? And then you'll meet someone really dumb but proud of being really dumb. You know, like, wow. I'm proud to be the goddamn dumbest son of a bitch you ever met in your life. But at the same time, I believe all my opinions matter. It should be taken into consideration when contemplating every aspect of your life. Or I will kick your ass. That's not how that works, man. If you're dumb, you should shut the fuck up. Yeah. Like if a black person came in and was talking about police violence, I would be like, hold on. Growing up in my suburban white neighborhood, anytime Officer McKinley caught me drinking and driving, they can take me back to my parents' house. Uh, they were good friends. I, don't, you know, I can't say that shit because I don't know, right? I just need to shut up and listen, right? But for some reason, they like to say things like, I say what I want, right? What you want to say is invalidating, racist, and harmful. So why do you want to say it? This guy like put me in a headlock because he was saying some ignorant shit. And I, just, I told him it was dumb. And he put me in a headlock and he's like, Who's dumb now, motherfucker? No, you are, dude. You're, you're, you're still dumb. Like, my, my, this is really uncomfortable and it hurts, but you're still dumb. And for some reason they think being tough, it's strong, right? I'm tough, I'll whoop your ass. You're so tough, you can handle your own emotions, right? Thank you. If, if you're so tough, two dudes kissing wouldn't make you want to shit your pants. And if you're so tough, you wouldn't be afraid of love. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you would, Where are you, love? I'll kick your ass. Are you within everyone in here? Meet me outside, love. I saw you two weeks ago blowing through the treetops under the moonlight. It was beautiful. But then you disappear. Just like everybody disappears in my life. <laughs> Just like my father. One time, it's really mean, bullied and got my face. He's like, how many dicks have you sucked, man? And I was like, as many people as you've driven away by being an asshole. And he's like, everybody that you care about? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah.